All right, welcome to match two of uh, DeepStack playing poker on Twitch. Uh, today we have the two plus two poker cast. So we have Terence Chan and Adam Schwartz. And we're going to start right now with uh, Terence playing match one. Hey guys, out there. I uh, hope I don't embarrass myself too badly, but I, at least I've, I've started with a hand. Okay, so I think I think in the beginning, I think I'm going to go 2.5x for my sizing because um, we're starting fairly deep. Um, I will, we'll probably go to min betting later on, but we'll see what happens. Andrew Burkos, who played last week, had an interesting talk, uh, theory. I think it was Andrew, not Nate. Andrew said that he'd rather um, play bigger pots pre because he feels like the computer's edge would be... Right. Yeah, yeah you're get, it's a bet. Um, okay, so I've got a wheel draw and a size, so obviously I'm calling here, I think. Raising a full yeah, would be both poor. Uh, I'm probably going to have to fold to a large bet. And, yeah, that sucks. Um, and... The fun thing about this, oh no, we got blocked right, right, right off the right out of the gate. It's established. The computer is clearly establishing dominance <laughs> and just saying that, it, that pro chance. proving it is the alpha. Yeah. By uh, I mean this, but oh, look at this. Try this now. Again. Try, try it try again. It again. Let's try it see. This time. It's it's clearly establishing dominance. Um, okay, so I'm calling. I'm I'm actually going to go slightly larger than that. Michael, can I ask you about your theory about showing the the cards to every hand? Uh, so Michael, yeah. for those who don't know, program the, the programmers decided that the deep stacks cards would be shown every hand. Yep. Yeah. So every time, um, whether it folds or goes to showdown, it'll reveal its cards. Um, it's not paying attention to your hand. Uh, so if you fold, it's not doing anything different because of that. And this is just okay. to make it easier for you to figure out what the program's doing. Uh, we can save you time that way. Why do you want to make it easier for us? <laughs> <laughs> Just because your time is valuable. Uh, <laughs> so if you're able to beat it, we want to know that as fast as we can. Gotcha. Right. So it's not learning from us in any way, but we get to learn from it, basically. I feel like it would be much harder if, they didn't, if we didn't see the cards. Oh, yeah, of course. So, okay, raise. We're, we're, well, it depends like, if we're trying to exploit or if we're just trying to play a oh, better right. game theoretical strategy than they've come up with, right? So, like, they don't know that their strategy is necessarily better than our strategy, although I suspect they think it is. Okay, so on this fairly static board, I actually should probably bet fairly small, even though I want to bet bigger because I'm top pair. But a very static board. Let's see what happens. I need nothing, so it folds. I get my lock there. Works out well. Um, this is a. No. Okay. So I've played a bunch of matches, uh, practice. We talked about it on the show today when, when we recorded. Uh, Michael, I want to ask you one. There's a couple, and I'm, I noticed it last week, I think, with Andrew, where in the first level, uh, 100, 200 blinds, small raise, and, and the bot shipped 20,000 with sort of a marginal hand at that point. Um, it seems like it's happened a few times. Yeah, just with uh, preflop gems and with odd hands? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we talked to um, Adam and Nate again, or sorry, Andrew and Nate uh, yesterday. Um, for one of their upcoming podcasts, and we'll have a look at one of those. Um, so yeah, so one of the nice things about having the bot that doesn't change hand to hand is we can go look up its strategy and find out exactly what range it has at any spot. Uh, so we dug into a couple of those. Uh, one of the ones we looked at with them did look a little funny. Um, it was a 8-5 offsuit, I think. Yeah. Um, yep. So at least on that hand that we looked at with those guys, uh, the bot only jams with that hand about 1%, so it's fairly low. Uh, so there are a couple of reasons for this. It could just be that if we had it um, think longer as it was playing, then that 1% would go down to zero or go <laughs> down even farther. Uh, it could be that. It could be that it has actually decided it's a reasonable part of its strategy, although I totally agree that seems far-fetched. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to ask about the thinking times because they don't seem to be that consistent. Like right here, it kind of thought quite a while about checking back here. And then like a lot, like, I think just a few hands ago, I think it folded 6-4 or something preflop, and it, it really wanted to think it over before before folding. Um, just, I don't really understand what constitutes a hard decision for a computer. I, I understand much better what a hard decision is for a person. Yeah. Uh, so I'm the amount right. of time it takes really just depends on what round it's in and uh, how big the stacks are. Mm -hmm. uh, so when it decides how to play, it's not actually thinking just about the one hand it has. It's figuring out how to play every single hand in its range. And so it doesn't matter if it has you know, pocket aces or some weird mismatched hand. It's going to take about the same amount of time. Um, 
I think it's usually slowest in the preflop and the turn, should be fastest in the river. Um, and as the stacks get smaller and there's fewer decisions to make, then that speeds it up too. Mm -hmm. I bluff him at the bottom of your range. I That's the, the nut bottom of your range. I, I bluff the computer. <laughs> Way to bluff. Still losing. Oh, and I'm rewarded. Now we pick up the word. Hey. This is all about, I, I feel like John Connor. I just, this is this is the closest I'll ever get to being John Connor. Look at this. Ah, Look at this. Deep stack. Okay, so. Um, timing tell. Yeah, Balance timing tell. your range. No, well, no. I mean, it's not clear to me that I should 4-bet. I mean, 4-betting seems correct. Actually, yeah. Four it's pretty seems clear to me that it's 4-bet. Well, I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with calling and letting it pop you 2,500, but I don't think we're, I think we're deep enough that we can do that. So the question is how much, and I think... In in it, I find it, ca it calls raises here. I, I, I've been airing deeper when I have it. Then you just fold the 9 8. Yeah. So you just fold whatever you bet, I guess. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I, he folds to a click back. Maybe not. Maybe it does. Pots it. Be interesting. Oh, pots it with top set. Top set. Just pots it with top set. So I feel like I, I dodged a bullet on that. Why do you one. get all these hands? Like it's nonstop hands. I'm a very, I'm a very, lucky very lucky person. Very lucky person. This is why I'm up like 300 chips. Another hand. He with the king high. Yeah, this is a reasonable. I mean, I think I would often three bet bluff this, but because he's three x that I will. Just take a flop. You just flop the nuts like you always do. Well, so I don't, I mean, we don't know the frequency with which he's 3xing with an ace. Um, obviously, I have to call. The, this turn My spot is. My experience is 3x. This, spot's tough. this turn spot is much tougher. The yeah. potting, the sizing makes it easier for me to fold. And of course, he bluffs me again. Um, send me bluffs anyway. Send me, yeah. I mean, I, I, think, I think most humans would have actually played the same way he played that hand, so. It played. What is the what is the preferred uh, gender neutral pronoun? What is the preferred pronoun for uh, for for deep stack? <laughs> Good question. I don't think we really have one. I think we have one. <laughs> um, but yeah, not not he or she or they. Just they they is clearly wrong because the grammar gra grammar does not allow for they. Um, I'm okay with he, she, or it. Oh, bastard. <laughs> Son of a bitch, just three bet me again. Uh, <laughs> oh, bottom Jesus, you run good. Bottom two. Um, and see, like, it's now thinking, like, it, it kind of yeah. tanked checked there, which, oh, you it's know. a bigger tree, right? Than on the river. Did well, it, it's, a, it's a bigger tree, but it, it's no different than every other raised call pre flop, right? So, I mean, I don't understand why it would be. Uh, sizing should be larger, given the very draw heavy, very wet board. Ugh, that is a terrible turn card. Turn. That is an ugly turn card. I have to check this back. What? Literally. I'm betting that turn. Well, I, bet that turn. I, get to make, <laughs> I get to make a much more clairvoyant bet on the river um, with much more information. Because I did not. Why don't you just shut on you? What would make it like this? difficult to It would be shut. But I'll just fold it. <laughs> it's for you for not betting the turn. So explain to me the part where betting the turn gets. <laughs> well, this is you being results oriented. Well, you just said that's what you get. You said, how does betting the turn help me? Oh, you're, I thought you were saying in relation to his flush. Uh, I think it calls, from my experience for the game, the matches that I've played against him. Um, I think. Well, but I lose the same money. amount of money. Yeah, in this hand this is results orientated. We're not results orientated guys. I just. I but we better win. I think. I think. I think betting the turn there is poor. Disagree, but I'm not a no limit older player, so what do I know? Oh, so the blinds are up again, so I should get to the point where I should start thinking about my sizing being slightly different. So, I mean, I guess we're still on big blinds, too. This is not the flop I was hoping for, and I don't really know how to play these flops, to be honest. Like, I think I'm just I've been min betting here, yeah, because it folds hands with equity sometimes. Well, let's see, let's, I'll give it a try. I mean, every hand is equity against me right now, like three, four has equity. 
I think it's your turn. Yeah. yeah. Bluff to you. Yeah, so, I mean... You're bluffable. Well, I mean, so this kind of disproves what you said, right? On no, the bluff. You mean about the turn, and then it goes check, check in the room, and you win. No, but, like, this is the hand that I w you would kind of hope to fold out by oh. uh, min betting the flop. I mean, I think if I bet more, clearly I would, right? Like, if I bet, if I bet like, 30% yeah. of the pot, I think even that probably folds. Yeah. I'm guessing. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, this is a reasonable three bet. Okay. Um, okay, so we're playing... We're still... What? Okay, so we're... 80 big blinds effective. I think I'll just stay with 2.5 because I'm lazy. I don't feel like typing like 450 into the box. <laughs> I just mash buttons. You're way more specific than I am. Yeah, I, I like sizing fairly precisely. Um, so this is like one of these classic defensive, I'm going to check call to the river kind yeah. of hands. Play a small pot. Uh, I'm not going to bet that card because there's. I can't. Largely, his range is just improved against mine. There's I fold those turns sometimes. I think that's, my, that's interesting. Um, yeah. Okay. Now it's really thinking. Really thought that call over, so. Really gonna think about this A side flop. See, like a human to just checks to the razor on an A side of the flop. Um, and there's really nothing to think about. So I was thinking about like. Six, what over betting? Um, to what end? Uh, for my. Item sevens to cover you. Better my fold. But. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it could also be just a bunch of hands. It made Elgin bluff. Yeah. I bet that turn too. Uh, so I think I should not raise. I would. Um, given my failure, about other I think that I should not raise. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't raise. And if you bet the turn, you get stumped there. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. I can fold though. When are you gonna, you're gonna you're, so now you're putting yourself in a spot where you're gonna fold top pair. I would rather not do that. Uh, this is too light to bet, so I'm just gonna hope I get a six for free on the river. Just give up. Ooh, or an eight. That might be enough. Jim, third pair. I think. I think it's not enough to bet. I think it's close. Yeah, would have been. Would have, would have worked out well. Um, see, this is where I want to min raise. I'm folding that in. It's where I want to min raise, but I think folding is not right. But um, so having a min raise in your distribution helps when in spots like these. This is ooh. See, I was going to three bet again, and then he just three x it. So I think it's wrong. Oh, oh, that'll I'll take that. Have a nice, 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 have a nice. Um, let's see. I think I will check it. That's a what? Uh, and now I think I, I think that is very clear because I will get a lot of king high calls here. Uh, pot is clearly wrong. Why is pot clearly wrong? Um, because we're going to get adverse selection, and we're just trying to get called by like weak king highs and queen highs. Really, we should, but we, do we have any reason to believe that they won't call a pot? Yeah. Um, because it's probably incorrect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you should. Well, are we assuming it's one hundred percent right? Uh, I am playing as though it knows what it's doing. No, that's different from being making the correct decision every time. I am. I am playing as though I am. Yes, that plays a hundred. That plays, that it plays correctly. Oh, okay. I am not trying to exploit until. I, I mean, I have no reason to. It's like you played it a lot more than me, so maybe mm -hmm. you have some reason to exploit it. But I am just playing a more or less. My understanding of the deal approach. This is. This is. 
ugly run out. Do I get bet fold there? Turn. I, I don't. I just don't bet fold. Like I mean, I do obviously, but I, I think it's. Well, I think it's. I think it's a far overused tool. Really? Yeah. Uh, I was probably going to shoot that less. Like I like that's a very like what does bet folding gain? It just it just well, uh, if it doesn't just, raise you enough often enough then you're going to gain value by hands that it's calling. But it doesn't it's, you're not giving it an opportunity to bluff you, right? Like you have to give you have to be you have to play defensive enough to you know bluff. Okay, blinds are up again. So and my stack is quite small now, so it's fifty big blinds. So I think I'm going to start raising less to arbitrary amounts that look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky amounts. That's a lucky yeah, amount. right. It's not arbitrary. It's a good flop. It was. It's, it was a lucky amount. You're right. Uh, very static board. So I've got like a third of the pot. So continuing my trend of. I'm gonna play less. Numbers. I'm gonna play differently. Okay. Well, I would think so. We are different people. Uh, I'm going to station this guy. So I'm more than We're happy just calling our sacks. Ah, now oh, what? This is a decision point. Yeah, because I could. Are you bet calling? Are you bet folding? Or are you checking? I am going to induce. It's fairly good. Um, obviously, okay, you've, call been, you've induced. Yeah, ob obviously, like calling is better than raising. You tied. Yes, calling is better than raising for sure. Should I just shove fifty big blinds in over the top of this race? Oh, you didn't even let me do that. So now, so limping at one fifty three hundred. I wonder if this is the first level. I mean, Michael, maybe you tell is it like the first level at which it it open limps. Um, obviously, I mean, unless unless the stack sizes are kind of pathological at that point. Uh, good question. Are we seeing open limping other spots? Uh, I thought so. I think so. I think it does. Yeah. Yeah, like even even right off the bat. Yeah, I think so. Um, okay. I think, uh, and even with like the study where obviously we just have the one. The first stack size, the first blind size. Hey guys, another question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, what what about the criticism that building a, an AI bot, if you're not a, an elite sort of uh, heads up, no limit hold'em specialist, is, is there some inherent challenges there to build it if you if you're not the the expert to begin with? I don't think there is. Um, and to be honest, aside from catching bugs faster, uh, I'm not really sure how the book knowledge helps all that much for the programming point of view. Um, Just programming uh, ranges and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, the way the program works is uh, it learns how to play just by playing against itself. So there's, there's no point at which any of us tell it what to do or how to bluff, or even in deep stack, even what cards are good. Like, it learns entirely just through self-play, um, starting off playing uniform random, like, one third probability on fold and call and raise, and it gets better from there. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you don't program ranges or anything like that? No, no, not at all. Uh, about the only thing that we do is telling it what actions to consider. Um, and so right now, when it's playing, it only considers the half pot and one pot bets and the pre flop, flop, and turn. On the river, it also considers two pot. Mm -hmm. um, and even those sizes, like that's purely just a restriction to make it play fast enough to be fun to play against. Um, like, there's no reason that you wouldn't need more uh, bet sizes than that. Okay. But, yeah, other than that, we're not telling it anything about what cards are good, how to act, um, anything. Okay, next question is, how did you uh, film this from the Goodwill hunting set? <laughs> this is, uh, our supervisor's office, uh, Dr. Bowling, is uh, in Europe right now on vacation. And that's so we're using so the that's the call. character Matt Damon's playing? Okay. <laughs> Gotcha. I guess so. He's the smart one. So <laughs> yeah. Crap in here, you bet you. I it, it limped and I raised, um, which I think was borderline, but on my part, but I, I really <laughs> just want. I just I, I I felt like confident that if it three if it limped three bet that I would be safe folding, and then I just kind of want to see what it is limp calling with and deriving more information from that. Um, cause so bet call the flop. Yeah. And I bet called on the flop. I, I don't think I can continue betting. I, I think that's suicide. Um, and this may check through, I may just win against the cut shot. What could, like fold like queen 10 if you 
Yeah, okay. So you can bet. specifically bluff a queen, but I mean a six, who knows? Maybe if you bet like two pot two X pot or something. I don't know. I think I think I'm just gonna show down and try to win against the gut shot. Which is what happened basically. Strange I didn't bluff there. Check, 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 check. I think Well it's not at the bottom close of the range. To the bottom of the range. Pretty close. Um well mm, that's that's interesting. Let's think about that. Well ten nine would be the stone bottom of the range. Yeah, 10, eight. Um, 10, 9, 10, 8. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know if it calls the flop bet with 10, 9, or 10, 8. Or 10, 8, rather. Or 9, 8. So, so I think that's a pretty clear bet if I'm, if I'm on the button there. It's, it's not, because he paired his 3 on the turn. Yeah, but you don't. Do you have pocket deuces? I mean, what are you showing down to win against? Yeah, but I mean, it still has to... I mean, maybe you're right, but... Uh, Pretty clear three bet. Yeah. Good, clear fold on his heart. Okay, blinds are at 200, 400, and I have 40 big blinds. So I guess my opening sizes should get gradually smaller and smaller. Yeah, I'm just min opening here. Yeah, that, I think that's, that's fine too. I think that's fine. It may be correct. Especially against like a no like we've seen the overbet jam and so we want to induce as much of that as possible. Uh, I have second pair, which is I think not a absolute slam dunk bet, but I think I will anyway. Oh uh, really? What if you yeah. A check in nine ten beats you or something. It's a good turn. Yeah. And I'm not getting greedy. Yeah, like that. Bet. So it's that's kind of like just it's a very it's a fairly light float, um, and mm -hmm. I think because I bet small on the flop, right? I think it folds to a larger size in there. At some point, it's going to win three bet. I'm just waiting for it. Oh, that is not good. I think I just give up. This this is a terrible. So this is a spot that I've been, when I'm in practice, I've been min-betting to realize some kind of showdown equity here. Because it, it, I found it had a tendency to call. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, in practice, I mean, at least if they've kind of done their job, min-betting shouldn't look that much. Their, their response to min-betting shouldn't be that much different than to checking because you're betting like one night. Wait, or which, yeah. So nights of the pub, something like that. Yeah. Um, and I think I have to bet once here, for sure. Just on the ace high flop. Just hoping that we'll fold stuff like that. And it did. This is the time where it would be nice if it decided to three vote. Yeah. So it's, it's it's limping in there. Um, so it limped it limped it limp folded ten three. So it's limping pretty light now at this stage. Yeah. And it's going to have to balance that with some limp three betting at some point. Uh, I don't like this flop for a eight of hearts, obviously. So I think I'll check behind to try to get to a cheap showdown. Yeah, it's getting there. Kind of getting good. worse and worse. Um, betting here would not be bad with the double gut shot. I think. Unless you're representing a lot of hands. Uh, it doesn't care though. It doesn't? Are you sure? Why would it care that we're representing hands? That's like that's like a human concept. It doesn't understand. It doesn't take into account your range or anything. Well, it's taking account of range. That's not the same as representing a hand. No, it's the same. I mean, if it. If you bet the turn and, and it uses that in the calculation of your range, because you've that, yeah, that's, well, that well, you're never range. you're never representing a hand; you're representing a range. Sorry, right. yeah, okay, you're being nitty now. That's what I meant, though. You know what I meant? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I think it bluffs there. I set yeah. Well, I don't know. Like I haven't played this thing as much as you, so your, your perception is whatever. But I think folding is correct. It fold. Uh, 
okay, so this is sort of one of these spots that I was looking for where I think it's okay to three bet. How come? I have a jack blocker, which is like okay, and we're at a stack size. I can, I can comfortably fold this to a four bet, and we have some equity. I think it may be a little light. I, yeah, so I think it's going to start. Well, I don't want to read too much about that. Too. They're listening to you. Don't tell them. You just said it doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> we, he gives no input. The AI might be listening. It may have reached sentience. You're and just isn't assuming telling everybody's us. telling you the truth. He's no, over, he's over there. No, I, I believe. I believe him. I believe. I believe every meat. Uh, I believe every carbon-based life form that we're playing against right now. I don't necessarily believe that deep stack itself hasn't reached a level of sentience where it's pretending. I mean, Michael and, and the whole team could be unaware that this sure. thing is sentient. And like, really, this is just distracting me because in some future universe, I actually am John Connor and saving the world. Uh, so that I'm just like, now I'm just sticking around playing poker. Or oh, did it just donk that at me for the first time? I think it just donked that at me for the first time. Okay, you win. Ooh, that's many it fives. Just, it just it's let out. Fives. Just it just went for the jugular with three fives there. <clears throat> this is like I don't even know how to play these types of flops against humans. Um, I mean, so I humans like would check. Humans would check a ten I, I, there a I, lot. I think but humans. I'm not sure that that's the case. And I think humans tend to overcheck this type of. So I'm just going to do the, I'm going to be contrarian a little bit and bet large. Even though my hand is not very good right now. Um, and now obviously I've, have a I've set myself up in a situation where I have to bluff the river because yes, I've had nothing. Poorly. I'm not sure that's not sure that's good. Oh, and you just get stationed by top pair, which is, which is that's a fine. perfectly fine. reasonable hand for it to have there. Yeah. Um, check back on the very wet. So 25 big blinds. I think if it min raises, I may just stack off. But it doesn't because it hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. These flops, these are these are this is terrible. Who 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 wrote these flops? <laughs> um oh God. Uh this is send is so good for his limp call range. So I mean his limp call range, let's think about this for a moment. Like how much I think it compares it, it has just a ton of pairs. It was like queen seven. It's got yeah, it's and then just all kinds of like did tie cards. I think I should just give up immediately. Yeah, like, sense. like it could have eight seven of spades, but that's like such a small part. Like the the stuff that I can actually make fold seems like a small part. I've improved to a five five flush draw. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> This is why we're adding a limit hole in experts' heads at Milano. I mean, I think it's a kind of tough spot. I think I actually, given the sizing, we'll have to call one here. Oh, we made a flush. That's probably going to bomb. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yeesh. Yeah, this is, this is obviously a fairly disgusting spot against the non human. Um, actually, I guess it's probably harder. I could flip a coin. I think it's probably pretty close either way. I think this is a fold. I think this is a fold. It's not a fold. Not a fold. Um, okay. So it had almost. I'm glad you went first. It right? had almost exactly what I said that we could make it fold on the flop. Yeah, and that's then, right. You called it. Sam. And then, yeah, I guess I guess maybe betting the turn would have gone all the way. So I know. Um, okay, we are now working big blind steep. I think I just shove. Oh, it's gone right this. Gonna think it over. I would have so okay. So I would have thought these decisions would be automatic. Like, I'll be lost. yeah. So I lose first match. But I so this, this is a question. So I would have thought this is like a, a very mathematical decision. Like I moved in, the decision tree just ends here. It should kind of call instantly, and it didn't. Can you talk about why that would be? Uh, yeah, I think anytime it's going to make a decision, it still has to consider the whole range that it would have taken there, and the whole range that it thinks you would take there, uh, in order to figure it out. Um, so I think even our really fast decisions aren't going to be instantaneous. Yeah, because it's it's like when I mean I was fourteen or something big blinds deep, so that's not necessarily 
um, a pure jammer fold situation? Like, is it, it, are there even situations where like we'd be like three big blinds deep and it would think about whether to call because, you know, it, it sort of shouldn't, right? Because that's essentially a, like four big blind pokers essentially solved, I would imagine, or solve uh, easily solve a bowl. Yeah, I'm, so no matter what, like it's, it's still going to have to do the computation as you're playing it to figure that out. Um, so yeah, so it should be fast. Like if the game tree is small, then it should be fast. But. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, well I'm gonna, one, I'm, gonna hand, I'm gonna hand this over to the guy who was shit talking the whole time. Now, <laughs> uh, let's throw this into the other tab since it's like. Let's see. Let's see. All how, right. How this guy does. Deep stack. You're in trouble now. Let's do this. All right. What the hell kind of mouse is yeah, this? Just hold on for one second while we change something on our end. Sure. Look, I'm in Blade Runner all of a sudden. Should I start yeah. the match? Yeah, Adam, go ahead and start the match. Okay. And then after you see your cards, just hold on for a second. Okay. Well, you get to take a premium match. Okay, we're good to go. You can start. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to start by a uh, min raising strategy. <laughs> No reason why. So I got three bet. I feel like this is a pretty straightforward four bet. There we go. Four bet. Folds nine six. Uh, I dock. There are a bunch of donking. So is it actually donking when the other person doesn't raise free flop? I'm not sure that it is. That's a very good question. Wow, played absolutely correct except well, didn't raise pretty, but all right, team meatbag is down one nothing. Pretty good flop. Calls of line over that. So Adam goes with the decidedly unbalanced strategy of yes. just trying to like <laughs> just just try to find holes in the game. That's what I've fine. been. That's what I've been trying to do. That, to be yeah. honest, I've been trying to find poker. I've been poking it. So call an over bet there. So why don't you over bet again if you think it's. Just going to call too much. Um, because I think it folds the turn more often than over bet. I think. Oh, sorry, I just wanted to jump over to the Twitch. Sure. There we go. Okay, so I just wanted to see the chat. All right. <laughs> so I'll read the chat to you so you can focus yeah. on the game. But um, somebody wrote, I've been a poker cast listener for years and never knew what Adam looked like until today. <laughs> I'm freaking people out. <laughs> uh, and if Ross is around, tell him to say hello. Ross, do you want to pop over from the other All side right. of Ross? You don't have to do anything. You just All right. There's Ross. He's much taller than both of us. It's not an optical illusion. <laughs> See, I feel like a, uh, and then our last. Where's one. the video? Uh, oh, it's, it's on the other. It's on the other. Uh, yeah. You guys are trying to distract me. Right? I'm not. And says so somebody else says, "Who's the skinny guy with Terrence?" <laughs> <laughs> it's point eight Adam. Don't ask me to explain these bet sizings, because I'm just kind of... Oh, but when I'm playing, you have all kinds of commentary. <laughs> but when you're playing, 
<laughs> there's no rhyme or reason. No, rhyme. like I'm just, I'm just, I'm just arbitrarily doing things. But oh, why don't hey, Why don't you overbet here? Oh, why don't you midbet here? I don't. I would check this flop back. Oh, I would definitely bet this flop. All of a sudden, we're quiet. All of a sudden, we're quiet. Huh? Very, very quiet. I, I take this seriously. Field player. I'm gonna overbet. Turn. I don't think he checks back aces very often. That's not, that's not a good result. <laughs> Terrence is laughing at me. Way to go. Way to stab in the dark. I don't think it checks back aces. I'm going to check back. No, I feel like checking. Back. I took it out. Those check back aces. You have to understand that, like, you're playing a computer. It it, it, it is, it yes, is going to have I a know, frequency. I know, I know. It is going to have mixed strategy on every street to the river, basically. I said very often. I don't think check back is very often. Did, didn't I say very often? I, I feel like I did. Let's go back now. You just folded a pair in a gut shot? I did. That is crazy talk? I don't agree with that. It's crazy talk? Field player, man. It's all about feel. Knew he had it. All right. Typically, what's happened with in my practice matches is we've got to like hand forty-five or something and been pretty close, and then some hand happens where we. Get all the chips in. It's almost like a heads up sit and go. It's almost like it's a heads up sit and go. <laughs> yeah. Although I did have one match end on the very first hand. Oh, yeah. You, we you we, we got 20,000 in. And then I had a hand uh, match. Was it just a cooler or did something I weird happen? I top two. It was like eight, four, three, two clubs, and it had six, seven of clubs. Mm -hmm. decided to bluff me. And I'm not bluffable at that point. Uh, I think this is a call, right? Min raise. Three bad. That's lots of three X rays. No, oh, you I'm in race. Race. I'm in race. Um, I mean, given that you're deep stacked, it's okay. I, my default would be fold here. <laughs> given that you're deep stacked, it's okay. All right, fold. I'm not gonna fold this one. There's no, there's no reasonable thing that he can do to make you fold. <laughs> Okay, That's a good result. interesting. So limp. Three X. Yeah. We may we may have this hand in and uh right off. be over right away. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna over bet. Yeah, I think from out of position over betting is fine. Whew. That is that is a an ugly, ugly flop and so an ugly spot. Floated the pot. <laughs> Yes, the stack to power ratio is under two, <laughs> and you have no pair. Okay, watch draw. this. Why? This is advanced right here. Watch this. Doug Polk won't teach you this. We're going to min that. Yeah. And then it's going to raise, and then you're going to fold. <laughs> that's how that's going to work. Or not. Going to min that the turn, too. At some point, also going to raise and gonna fold. <laughs> uh, it may have the same hand as you, or like ace queen, then uh, at this point. Because it's basically checked back twice. What, what's functionally happened is it's gone check through on every street. Oh, oh there. See, and this is the point where you fold. Yeah. I, but look, I got to turn river for cheap. You did. And there is, yes. there is some value. Would you have? It's, it's not clear that, Ace King it, it's not clear that had you just checked, it wouldn't have checked back. So, it, it, you, you, you don't you really like know. to think it's going to bet there. Oh, aces I dodged. Jacks then aces? This, thing is, this is rigged. Clearly. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep with the min raising. Well, that's a better strategy than raising more when you like your hand more. <laughs> uh, I feel like it calls pretty light, so I'm gonna over that. Didn't call it. It probably would have had you bet smaller. 
it wouldn't it, it wouldn't be doing well. I did an overcard and a gut shot. I mean, that's yeah. a, it's a decent flop for that. I mean, for that hand. Mm -hmm. So it was very sensitive, in fact, to your overbet. It's a good flop for that hand. I mean, it was yeah right. yeah it, it was. <clears throat> uh, I probably could three bet here. Not going to. I don't think. Check call. I think this is a decent check raise spot, depending on what it actually bets. But given that check find, that's not an option. Hmm. Only if it calls, it's like King Jack. Uh, King Jack, no diamond. You said it was sensitive to my overbound. Right? Was, but it also could just have an ace. In which case, Good. it's not going to be less. It's going to be much less sensitive. Okay, so any bet would have worked. There, yeah, yeah any bet. See, like this is the sort of thing about trying to spot tendencies, where like, you know, the previous hand we're like, oh, it's sensitive to the overbet, and then in this hand it just. You know, didn't care at all because it would have folded to him in that. Like trying to. No, I was, trying, I was trying to think specific. Right. Yeah. Like extrapolating from the specific to the general. Right. Is bad. Uh, min raise three bet. I can't fold. Can I ship? Shipping's too much, probably at this point. Yeah, I think that would be very. Cool. I think you're set mining. It's not a bad flop. It's got a bunch of the hands that I've seen a three bet. Well, it's not. I was going to say it's not a bad flop in that it's a good flop for your range more, and it's a poor, fairly poor. It's not like a great flop for his range. So you might just get free cards. Yeah, min bet. I think that's very poor because now you've just opened action back up to him and you've taken away the ability to potentially taking away the ability to turn a deuce ace or a five. So, so that's a decent thing. You can do the wheel draw. Hi. Will it call me with call being met with ace? That's, yeah, that's one way to find out. How big do I go? How high we go? Oh, if it pulls an ace on you, I'm gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Sucked out. Nice. Jack five off. Check back. All right. Almost pulled back to even. In this effort to tie it up. We gotta beat the thinking poker guys. They lost. Yeah, but they're thinking. <laughs> uh, it's the name of our podcast. Just make shit up as we call along poker, because that's where it should this, be. This is what it should be. Yeah. All right. So, do I represent a heart or do I not represent a heart? Not represent. Sorry. Do I? You know what I mean. Do you, does it believe you have a heart often enough in line with your lack of sizing? equity? My size. You basically don't have any equity right now. <laughs> if he calls, you certainly don't have any equity. That did not help you. No, so did not. You should. Oh, well, I think you should have bet because I mean, well, yeah, I don't know. It's going to call a lot. Probably wouldn't call with that hand though. It's a pretty clear call. That's a really good flop. I'm going to donk. Yeah, I think donking here is good. Um, it's a good hand. For your it's a good hand. It's a good flop for your actual hand. I'm going to bet big. I think that's correct. Um, on this very wet, very U heavy board. Interesting. The shipping here makes sense. I think there's an adverse selection. Because he's never going to fold. No, it's never it's never going to fold better if yeah. you if you can. But I also don't see it really like bluffing very frequently. So like, 
there's a win against if there's the potential that it has like seven three, ten eight ten those hands well no i'm thinking like so what okay so think about what hands um you gain equity from by moving all in and having it fold right like what are the hands that it will fold ace nine and yeah do you think it'll fold ace nine maybe do you think it would raise ace nine yeah i do not so i mean I, and i don't know and maybe michael doesn't even know um although you could look it up I'm i think i call I'm yeah gonna, I, I, I think i think calling is correct but i like because the point is i don't think that it's ever going to fold better than you but i think it could fold things like deuce three of diamonds and that would be an equity benefit obviously on, on this hand mm. wow we're checking that's time. a hand we didn't consider that it might that it might raise with and fold a flop it would clearly fold yeah obviously This seems like a ship. I think that's correct. I agree with you. Uh, that's not good. We're, done. We're down two zip. Team we are back down back, two nothing. Back against the walls. Get in the saddle. Backs are against the walls now. <laughs> like the Boston Bruins in 2011. Hey, let's, that's nothing. that's a good precedent. Yes. The the 2011 Boston Bruins. We never thought we'd derive motivation from them, but that's what we're doing right now. Oh, I forgot to log out. Oh, shoot. Um, oh. oh, do you still have it in uh, the other tab? Oh, I just have to open the other one up. Okay. So, yeah, I don't have to log out. I just yeah. put the other one up, and I just hit um, restart match, right? Restart match. And then just uh, wait with that first hand for a second while we set it up. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. We're good to go? Okay. Um, let me just get my windows here. Okay. I'm back. And Adam's in the bathroom, so I, I can be not heckled for like a brief moment. We'll see. Mm -hmm. I can just I can just play. And obviously, the over and a flush draw is a good thing. Um, and I should bet fairly large here. I guess that wasn't that large. I probably could have gone bigger than that. But it doesn't matter. You've missed nothing interesting so far. Just okay. a bunch of pre-flop um, back and forth. So I think actually for maybe the rest of this round, I might even just try to 3x to see what it will fold. Um, so I guess this is the first interesting decision. Could be a first interesting hand. Obviously, I'm not folding not yet. A good card. I'm not folding that either, unless he like does something weird like pot it. So, and so this is not clear to me. I think betting is fine, and I think checking the back is fine. I think the more I feel like value. I think the more balanced play is to check because against a human who doesn't check raise enough, I think betting is clearly right. But um, I am fearful. Like I, I don't do want to fold. Like the, I don't want to fold the dust. Oh, back sorry, folding, folding. folding. Yeah. And that's that's a good result. Um, so now we're kind of get away with betting here. So the the all, all the draws missed basically except for three. So that's a good thing in my favor that it can actually expect me to have a lot of draws. So basically seven eight seven nine seven four hearts like these all missed, and these are all hands that I could have played in a similar fashion. So this I think is actually a reasonable spot to overbet in. And it'll suck if, I mean, if he folds, a, like, if I bet, like, 2,500 or something, maybe I'll we'll fold eights. a 5 anyway. Yeah. Or, or fold, like, two eights or something like that, um, which I don't expect that we'll have too often. So I think I can actually get away with a little bit, get, get away with getting a little greedy here. 
So yeah. that's what I'm going to go with and hope he can't possibly fold at 10. So it doesn't matter what I, I would have been. Matter. I could have sneezed at the pot and, and that one. But I, but I was trying to get value from a 10 there, obviously. Um, this is potentially a three better three match. Wow. Now, but I mean, the fact that he 3 x it means that I kind of don't have to. This is a good flop. I think. Well, I don't have to think about whether checkers or not. Uh, that's obviously a good card. I'm going to bet. Some out. Let's try that. And maybe able to value bet some rivers. Well, that's that's like what that I want. <laughs> uh, again, not as many draws missed this time, mm -hmm. but I can still get away with a lot. Let's try to oh, make Fold it to So games. let's uh, yeah, let's wow, kind of like, so okay. So I rate. Uh, no, so it raised. raised I, I simply called. I checked. I checked back the flop. So I checked back the flop with this over pair. Um, Turn and that's obviously match. the most non-standard part of the whole hand because I think almost every human Everybody in the world yeah. is betting there. And then having not, it just decided to flat call the turn. And then on the river, I think it's decision. Like it, it's played the hand now so slowly that it kind of like it expects to win when it calls. I mean, it doesn't expect. It doesn't have to. So you could over bet there. Yeah, I clearly can overbet, but I did not expect, no. obviously, two kings to be no. <laughs> part of the distribution. Um, interesting. I think I'll check this one back. It's not a particularly good flop. It's something that hits his range after I three exit. And I get to pick up a gut shot. Nice high. If you bet small, I clearly have to call. Or I'll just take another free card. And I may even have a call here on the river. Yeah. So, yeah but it doesn't matter. So I just win three, which is fine. Little pair of backdoor draws galore. Nothing too interesting there. I'll just have to peel. Um, This is pretty marginal. I'm leaning towards calling. Uh, I kind of have to call it. Really. I don't know that I do, but it luckily didn't put me in that spot. Okay. So be that's my maybe, so That's maybe a spot it should put you in. Right? I don't know. It had kind of a middling hand, which I'm sure down value. I mean, you know my hand, so it's obviously much easier, but. Um, but it had it had like we're talking about putting people in difficult spots, right? Well, well, that's that seems like one of them. Yeah, but yeah, we'll actually check this back again and hope for value there. Okay, so um, this is similar to kind of the way it played the king's hand, <laughs> where yeah, I induced. Yeah, good for me. <laughs> This hand is like bad enough that I kind of want to three bet it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't really want to call. It has some equity. It's not terrible. Uh, that's a good flop. So, like in terms of my range, not my actual hand, obviously. <laughs> and then I just I'm just gonna give up from here. I mean. It's I can, really I can, sticky. I can make it. I can, I can make you make it full to king, but I'm not going to try just to target that. Uh, Jumping checked back on the turn. It can still have a lot of kings. I can have aces. <laughs> yeah, I can have aces. Yeah, I mean, I might get it to fold a pair sometimes, but who two x pot? Ah, it's got a big hand. It really just I wanted to me to bet. Check the turn too. It's weird, right? It really wanted me to bet. Well, it wanted me. To, it put me in a spot where I had to think about whether I wanted to bluff the river. So. I think it did its job there. Uh, okay, so let's go back to two point five xing. Now that the blinds are up, okay, it's led into me on the king seven seven flop, which is again not a thing that humans will do very often on that kind of a flop. I think I have to peel. 
Yeah. That's weird. And hope I can get shown up with Ace High, or as it turns out, top pair. Uh, I should bet. We are value bet. The question is, how much would you have checked a seven? It's conceivable, um, but it's mo far more combinations of kings than sevens. So I feel comfortable betting like nine hundred ninety-nine, but not a thousand. I think a thousand would be too much. Yeah. Oh, it folded a king, so it, it exploited. The structuring to the IRS. You know? <laughs> That's true. I would not have bet nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine to the IRS. I, I, I that would have gone poorly. Well, if you're I have a lot of the back, threes. You have most of the threes. Uh, I'm obviously going to bet very small here. What you can do about that? Good check. That I did something. The random preflop tank are happening right now. <laughs> I guess there was an item on the borderline with 10 6. It's, it's, it's a really surprising fold there. I think most people would call it 10 6. But. Oh, I'm currently to approve it now. Meat bags are running good. Now, do I donk out here? Why not? It's got an iron jack, you're going to get called. Oh, well, there's a nine or jack in my bet. <laughs> so, I think I will check and hope that it has a nine or jack in my bet. So, yeah, I will. I get to raise now. I think, uh, like that looks about right. Uh, not the best river. It's not the best river, so it brings in draws. So you've got the flop. I feel confident it has Still the, have the best hand. I, I, I likely, I likely, I likely do have the best hand, but I think that checking is still better. Simply because I wanted to bet, and that's obviously a call. So oh. nine's full of fours. Wow. So I think clearly, I mean, obviously betting would have been a disaster if I got raised. Okay, so let's, can you look at that hand? Yeah. I feel like it should raise the turn. Uh, should, why? Because it's going to get all your. I mean, a lot of sometimes it's going to get all your chips. You check raise and it just flat it with the full house. Yeah. Okay. So you should. You're saying it should I'm raise. It. I think I should probably raise it. But I mean, it that 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 means that I just give up immediately on all my bluffs, right? So. Terms. This is the show's uh, power bar. I'll just leave it. Oh, okay. He's adjusting. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's a large swap. I, I probably should have considered dunking out there, actually. Um, on this very low board, but uh, he's going to pot it and Let's then get some chips in the middle. Yeah. Something like that is about right. Uh, forcing him kind of, he may, oh. it may overbet jam. Oh, good um, yeah, yeah, theoretically. I mean, it also should be very strong here. So, okay, let's think about this. So obviously you could take this line with all of its sets. Um, higher flush draws. It could take this line with higher flush draws and tens and over pairs, right? So there's actually a decent argument to be made for me, like just sure. overbetting the pot here, and seeing if it will fold a lot of hands with equity, like ten eight, like queen jack of hearts. <clears throat> I think this is actually the play that I'm going to make here. Um, 
because I think I think hands like Queen Jack of Hearts, Queen Ten of Hearts, all the bigger two of our card heart draws um, are hands that I would want to fold. I think that if I check, it's going to bet all of its sets. Like it will not slow play sets here. It's not going to fold sets. Well, of course not. Um, so I'm not trying to make it fold a set. I'm trying to make it fold maybe an overpair. Maybe probably not. I don't I don't oh, expect like ace eight, maybe? I don't yeah, but possibly like nine eight, ten eight, ace eight, um maybe nines. Like maybe, but probably not. But I do expect it to hold the bit fold all the big all the bigger flush draws. Yeah. And so on. basically I'm trying to bluff it off of top pair as well as some over pairs. Yeah, Old maybe over pairs. Okay, let's just try it. Shipping? Let's just try it. 12k into a pot of 6k, basically. Snap call. Snapped. And you but sucked out. Team meat bag. Yeah. So, Don't call it a comeback. Yeah. I mean, I didn't expect it to fold the over pair there, but I thought that it has an eight often enough that I may make it fold. And that would be interesting to know. Like, I would be, if it, if it had snap called with 10 8, I would have felt really stupid. <laughs> um, with Jacks, obviously, I think everybody calls there. So, okay. We're on the board. We're on the board. We went back home to Boston and we won game 1 9 1. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. We're in this round three. Okay, go humans. Um, Let's load up your window. Okay, I'll have to show up later. See you, Roscoe. Go before six. There you go. All right, so Adam, you should be set up with uh, in the other tab, right? I am indeed, yeah. Cool. One second. You even gave me a good hand, right? You gave me a good hand to, to start me off. I appreciate that. Okay, we're good to go. All right. <clears throat> Guys, uh, who else do you have matches set up with? Yeah, so we did the one um, uh, uh, last week, Think Poker, um, this time with you guys. Uh, we're playing uh, next week against Dutch Boyd, and then uh, going forward, uh, we have a couple of people we're trying to work out who goes in what order. Excellent. Uh, okay, I bet half pot flop, it called the turn. I feel like I'm still gonna, I'm gonna have the same amount of the time. This is like a very limit poker way of betting, but it playing is. the sand. It is. You're just like, I have I have the not no pair, so I'm gonna bet. We're gonna go check check, and it's gonna win. It played the hand in a very limited hold of fashion as yeah. well, actually. <clears throat> Four, seven, off. Yeah, so I think to be aware of is that it alternates, oh, not alternates, it, it both 3x's and 2x's preflop in these early levels. It doesn't do that as much later, it tends to just kind of 2x. So I'm in. It it three bet me. I feel like this is not a bad four bet hand. It's fine. with the wheel card. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think you would be really unhappy to be five bet me at blown off of a good hand like this. But it's also fine. It's to also fine to take a deep. flop in position. I think. Yeah, that's not what I was looking for. This hits my range. I'm gonna fire up the Twitch stream on your computer. That way we can look at the chat plug in there, and then you can hit okay. that. Tab. You just hit that tab there. We can see uh, Michael. Gotcha. And then here's the chat. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what. Okay, so it's chat. check the flop. This flop hits my range. Minrise call, pre-flop range. It's both of your ranges. I think it's mine more than his. I feel like I could have probably bomb, but I'm gonna. Mm, it seems bad too. Okay, I'm gonna check it back. It's checked again. Let's see if I can get it to lay down some equity here. By equity, you mostly mean the best hand, but maybe not. I mean, you could still, you could be winning, I guess. Or that would, if I check check in my bluff, would yeah, worse. Wait, and you can't call with, I yeah, can't could. Call. Dang, about 800. I think that's not too bad. Question, are you going to bluff again? I think I'm going to overbet bluff. Maybe this is 
This is like one where I'd almost always show it down, but I think I, I want to get it to fold some eights. Like, yeah, I'm gonna bomb it. Wow, call it nines. Just, just for okay, soul. So now I'm just soul ready. It's soul ready. But now I think I'm gonna bet really big when I have it. All right, I'm gonna throw it. It won't see that coming. <laughs> I have a three bet prehand. I'm endeavoring to get the chat in this on your computer, but I can't see it. You have to be logged in? You might have to I, log in. I wasn't logged in on my computer. Uh, I'm letting Team Meatbag down. Oh. Send a pair. Yeah, I'm too dumb to figure out that the chat as well. The chat. So. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. King eights, clear call. I think I'm going to dock this. I think that's fine, given the texture of the board. Three on your flop. King eight. You weren't getting a lot of money out of that hand? No. Deuces. Standard, right? Yeah. I mean, I attack limps quite often. And that's nice, right? Like, when it pulls that. Getting, yeah. getting, getting it to fold any two cards there is basically nice. I'm 3xing now. I mean, I think when we're 250 or 200. I guess 150 blinds deep at 3xing. It's probably fine. Like, it's one of those things that, like, us humans don't really know much about, like, what is the correct sizing free flop. Right. We just know. I'm that, guessing? Yeah, we just know that when we're, like, shallow, we shouldn't be 3xing. But we don't really know it. Like, 150 big blinds deep, whether 2xing, 2.5xing, 3xing, we have no idea. I don't see any reason to bet here. I think I'm going to beat a lot of hands at Showdown. Yeah. You have showdown equity for sure. And you still have like catch and cards equity. It's obviously like a pretty decent herbic card. Not much to suck up. But you captured your equity by checking back the turn. I'm going to try the min betting strategy here. It's my min betting strategy to realize equity again. It's pretty good. I think I can do the same thing. It, it folded for 100 on the turn. What was it? Let me show me the hand. Okay, so um, you were the small blind. You raced with 10 4. No, it was wrong. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It won't show me because it's gone to the next hand. Oh. Column of min rays, flop top pair. Thinking about donking here. I dislike donking. Why? Because of the nature of, because of the high low low kind of board. I mean, I like it a lot better when it's low 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 or maybe mini. To me. Yeah. At large, so calls of nines. Hopefully, calls of nines. Just not. Mm -hmm. Anyways. All right. A hand I can through that, I guess. 
I'm not yeah. that. I mean, Klein not to, just because you like to see fall to that. Yeah. That would certainly put you in a tough spot if you'd throw that. You have to figure out whether bluff it ends Now you can just give up, obviously. Swap monster. You have a monster. Give me the walk deck. The tank. Check it down. Is there any reason to bet? No, I think your line is correct. All right. Need to get this match back to you. Come on. Right. I'd be surprised if the computer donks out here. That I don't know. Is this a spot I can bluff? It seems like it'd be pretty sticky. I mean, you have to bluff. If you're going to bluff, you have to think about what you're going to do on the next street. Whether you're going to bluff again on the river. Right. Oh, I just beat a bunch of hands. Yeah, you just beat a side thing, huh? I don't think it's full in there. I'm trying to cut that. Unless I. Yeah, I think you have to. Well, that's what I think. Like, talk about whether you fire two barrels there or not. All right, flat middle pair. Backdoor draws. Check calling here. Yeah, basically. Yeah, that's, that's a really that's bad card. magic card. What if I can. Donk here. Because I don't think it raises with like A6 or something. I think it just calls. And it would bet bigger if I track. I don't like this bet at all. Um, you're just, yeah, you're going to appeal, then you're going to. I mean, I'm not sure what your plan is now, but. The plan is to get the showdown cheap. Like if it's got you eight, might have gone to showdown for free. I might have. I'm mashing buttons, T. Come on, let's be honest. <laughs> Pretty clear fold, I think. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna fold that one. Yeah, for the three X sizing, I think folding is fine. Like the stack's getting shallow enough that I don't want to fold this one. Yeah, I tend not to ever fold suited cards on the button, but I don't know that that's correct or not. Not folding, but I don't think I'm three betting with this stack size. Yeah, I mean, again, as at 3x's, you're less inclined to 3 bet your own marginal hands, right? Yeah. As it min raises, you obviously want to attack those a little bit more. What would it fold if I check raised here? Obviously, no jacks. I mean, why do you think this is a good candidate to check raise? Because I think it'll fold like King Queen. It might fold King Queen. It might fold Ace Nine. Like hands that have a. Well, why would you choose your hand specifically? Why Why King Eight of Clubs? Like a, why a hand with like King High and no back? It's more of this flop than my hand. I mean, I got blockers or whatever, but. Well, then that if you're saying that, then that implies you would like check raise this flop every time. No, except when you have equity, basically, or. I mean, what hand, like, what does your check raising distribution look like then? Yeah. It's not linear. It's more stab in the dark key. 
Well, I just mean that like this, the king eight of clubs seems like a terrible hand to check rates here. Like if you had had six, three of clubs, that would be fine. Mm. Okay, so uh, three X got three bet. I think we're pretty clear with four betting here. Like that down to sizing. Uh, Fifty four is three times. So what does this leave me with? Forty eight leaves me with a nine thousand. Mm -hmm. Under nine, and the pot's gonna so be. You could shove on you, and I got a pot. Case you would snap it. But on the flop, I, I have a pot size bet on the flop. Yeah, if he calls. Yeah, yeah, almost exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's smart. Right. Right. Clear call. I think it plays this kind of flop pretty well. It's... All right, so pick up Jack out of flush draw, gutter. Yeah, this is a have equity. It does check back. It's got fewer this aces is than normal. Spot. It'll fold like king nine hands like that. Yeah, that there's a lot of buy a lot. I mean, I think, I think betting, betting, checking, check calling, and check raising are all viable. I feel like betting is correct. Mm -hmm. So I have a jet, the diamond blocker, so that means it has less draws. That card doesn't change a lot. I think I kind of have to bet again. I think you have bottom to bet. Of the range. Yeah, you're not at like the stone bottom, but it's pretty, it's looking pretty ugly. Okay, got that. Something value like that. Ooh, snapshot. It had something. It had nothing. Wow. Kind of. What, what, a, what an wow. interesting hand to turn into a block. Um, no diamonds in the hand, so no blockers. That is a really interesting decision. There. It's got a straight blocker. It, yeah, that is what I mean. No diamond blocker. And it has a straight... It, it does block the nut straight. It's and it has block. a pair... Like, the pair is basically a blocker. Yeah. Wow. That is a, that is really... That's a really interesting one. That's not a hand that a human... A human would have picked. Right. Very interesting. So, you know, Largish. That's huh. a really good flop. Let me see. Oh my god, bad. Oops. That's too much. Not that pretty large. Because it's going to call with, or it's going to shove with a bunch of. Trying to induce a shove with. Hands, right? I mean, I would almost always check raise here instead of the betting. Uh, I hate to go check, check, and lose to some weird ad. Why, why would you go check raise? Uh, just because it went two bet, three bet, free flop, and we're going to have ace king a lot, and ace queen, and ace jack, and other nonsense that doesn't connect. Oh. Just in case you guys are curious, that uh, that hand a couple back where it jammed with what three five? Yeah, yeah, it was super rare for it to jam. One point two percent. Oh, okay. It was, only, it was only doing it about two percent and was folding the rest. Oh, one percent. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So yeah, interesting. So I run bad, is what you're saying? <laughs> so it's put you in. So which is what you wanted. We wanted. That's what you wanted. wanted. That's the result you wanted. Now are you actually ahead? Well, you were. Ah. You were slightly ahead. Meatbag runs bad. All right, three one. We're down three one. T. You got to bring us back. All right. I guess we are going. I guess we are going best of seven here. So I got it in good. Is what you're telling me? You well, you got it in against twelve outs. You got, I don't. I don't think it's really much to complain about. So I'll switch back to my window. I have a, uh, yep. And then just bring uh, up the first hand like normal. There you go. Okay. So. Okay, uh, and we're good to go. I just hit restart match. Okay. Are there uh, more ones, anyone? Yeah.
maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I should not bet this. I don't have enough equity really to. Three bet pot right off the top? Yep. Three bet pot right off the top. Uh, I turned sixes to go with my open ender. I don't really think I have to protect myself from too much. You could have strong draws, but yeah. Hi there. Oh, well, I should bet. You bet, Colin? Uh, I am likely given, given not those three bet. I'm likely not bet, Colin. I really? think I bet folding. I maybe should have bet smaller, given that my hand wasn't really that good. And I'm done with this hand. I have no equity in it at all. And I do not think I should continue blasting. Could be hard. I mean, bottom unit zero showdown equity. That the, well, there's a difference between no showdown equity and the bottom unit range, and I don't think I'm at that. Would have worked. The fact is that I've like two unders to that board a lot. So I can't just barrel away every time I have no pair, I think. I think I called a lot on this flop. Uh, and then have to give up, unfortunately, a lot. Like That just happens a lot. I'm going to get stationed a lot on that flop and have to give up on the turn. Oh, wow. How ugly. Oh, so ugly. So ugly. But Kind of a weird call when I'm talking about. You just kind of expect it, right? Like my range is weak. There, yeah. you know, he's in position. He's he's in position, deep stacked. Like, wow, that's kind of a surprising fold, the ten seven. Yeah, but that's a product of me three xing it, I guess. So, we can probably exploit this a little bit by removing a lot of the junk from its range in these early levels where I'm three xing it. See, there's queen seven. That's like, I think most humans would probably call it like that. So I think that is an interesting way to potentially exploit. So its range is stronger, really. When I'm 3xing the button specifically, three yeah. So it's kind of a way of narrowing its range, which is, I think, of value. Uh, I hope that checking would be OK, but I think betting is better. Uh, betting is clearly better. Bring than King now. is better. Ah, hold it or call? No, no, he yeah. called. Yeah. That would have, that would have been a very unfortunate crazy call. Yeah. I don't know, what crazy, but it certainly would have been unexpected. Good flop? Yeah. Flop here. Thanks again. I expect they get called by most not junky hands. Yeah, turns out to be a junky hand. So it thinks that 6 7 is a better hand, actually, than like Queen 7 and mm -hmm. what else in folder? I think 10 7. 10 7. Because again, like the kind of want to just three bet here. Yeah, I'll just do that. Get the same end back. Yep.
really doesn't like folding because it lets the counter go all the way up to 10 <laughs> before it folds like to before three. Uh, so it's clearly one of these guys that doesn't like folding. We've all, we've all met that guy in the casino. I've right? been that guy. I've been that guy. Uh, good flop. Nice nice flop. Eight. So he limp called pre flop. So he has a decent a big amount. Ring. Yeah, hits he, he has a decent amount of this as well, but it doesn't have the pure junk. Like he, he shouldn't have like very few deuces. Like you know the king deuce maybe, um, and then the ace deuce, and then but like a lot of it'll it'll have parallel like nine five. It'll have like a parallel large. So with that in mind, I'm okay with betting fairly large because if I get there, I expect to win a big pot. Are you better raising? And if I no, and if I. Like, you know, if it's got nothing, it'll just fold. If it's got something I think I can extract value later, like if I hit it, if I hit my straight, then I think I'll get paid off quite well. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and bet a bit bigger here. And then if I don't make it, I can just, yeah, okay. Well, I didn't. It. So the limp call with queen three is a little bit surprising. I didn't expect it to be that weak. It's ugly. I'm just going to check it and hope to turn an eight or an ace for free. Just kind of give up at any sign of resistance here. At 150. No, I, I, I see no point in like reopening action and giving him an opportunity to bluff me off the best hand. Um. Doesn't like folding even the five three. It's opening now pretty lighter. Well lighter. Seems like. Was it? Ten six off. I think it would have. Folded ten seven off. No, it it, it didn't folded. defend. It didn't oh, defend it. Okay. No, no, no. Hold the big blind. Ten seven. It de I definitely think there are no situations where it's gonna fold open fold. 10-7 in the, the button. Okay, block top here. It is. It's not clear to me that I should bet all of the time because I think I will check some of this. But no, I think I'm going to bet. I think betting about three quarters of the pot is right. I think checking now is clearly correct. What? Yeah. It's got a very strong range now at this point. And there are some hands that I can beat. But its range is fairly strong at this point. And a lot of the hands that I'm well ahead of are hands that I'll bluff the river. So like, I'm giving it a chance to basically bluff with all of its misdraws now by checking twice. And I want it to bluff with all of its misdraws. Woo! That's that's well, concerning. You to, you want yeah, to, I did. I wanted to bet like I wanted to bet like four thousand. How, how did the preflop action go? Uh, it went limp raise, limp raise call, limp raise call. I'm pretty sure. Let me double check that. Yeah. So yeah, uh, it limped. I raised to four fifty. It called. It called. I led the flop. It called. I checked. It bet eleven twenty five. I called, checked, and now it's betting two x pot on the river. So. I mean, Jack, Queen of Dimes. I mean, I don't think I can fold. I don't think. You can. Yeah, I, I don't think I can fold, but I'm, I'm very curious to. I mean, it does make sense. Like, so we can rule out like Ace King, I think, and I think we can rule out King Queen. Like you say, one percent of the time, it's gonna have, it's gonna limp call. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, okay. So for the for the most part, so what am I expecting to get? Like, what value hands am I expecting to get shown? I think threes is a very good king one. King ten. Uh, yeah, threes, king ten. Uh, that's it. 
that's it. Ace, well, pocket fives, the time the time. pocket fives. I don't think, yeah. Um, and then, and, and then the bluffs, runs. and then, yeah, exactly. It says, like, the bluffs, I think it makes sense. So, I mean, I'm going to call, like, I, and I expect to lose more often than I win. Yeah. But, I mean, I, th I still think yeah, this is a test here. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess we can consider that. So, it just got lucky. Whatever. Um, okay. So, now that my stack is significantly smaller, I think that's the way to go. I would say it actually did play that hand in a manner that's fairly similar to a human yeah. in, in the in the, the the over bet in sort of the hand that you don't expect. Yeah. Um. I, so I, th I think that's interesting. That it's it's more interesting that like sort of humans have figured that out intuitively. Not interesting that the bot has figured it out because I expect it to. Team meatbag on the ropes. Yeah, it's not looking good. Can the software freeze now or something, please? Uh, if you know a guy who, like, if you know a Russian hacker who could DDoS, who could DDoS the, the, the U of Alberta, then you may want to make a phone call. Uh, uh, I think call. we're probably going to put all the money in here, some one or another. It's a pretty darn good call. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd shimmy the money in. It's hard to... This is, this is the one where if I'm playing against a person, I'd pretend to think about it. Yes. <laughs> Balance our range by timing range. Uh, oh, oh, it called. It called with just a five. Wow. And then it binked an ace and thought it got there. And then justice prevailed. Didn't get there. Justice prevailed. Meatbag, meatbag yeah. justice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean. Hey, you, got, you got a lot of club draws, right? You just have to have an eight with club draw. Yeah, you're right. Interesting. All your flush. All right, I'll wreck to even essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, I will not three pick here, yeah. although I think you could. Pretty clear bet. Um, I'm okay with just the new something. Call the seven, okay. Right, call the ten. ten. Yeah, it's some value, kid. Uh, you don't know that it was going to call two streets. Why do you think it was going to call two streets? Would you, yeah, I guess. If, would you bet the river if it called the turn? Yeah, <laughs> also, also a good point. Oh, I don't think I've seen this before. This I don't think I've seen the this click before. Back. The click back. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this before. We got a call. We're not fooling for clickbacks. Yeah, we got balls, that kid. That doesn't mean we have to call. Oh, we're going through that. Corbin. Sorry, Corbin. Uh, yeah, I think calling is right. Uh, and I flop back. Take it away from him. Uh, that is that is not how. Hmm. Interesting. That's not the That's way weird. any human would have played those two eights. Nope. Uh, yes, Keith. Fifty-seven forty. We can see the chat. I'm not paying too much attention to it, but I can see it. If you have a question. Uh, limp fold with king deuce there. It's a little bit non-standard. We saw limp call with queen three earlier, and then it just limp folded with queen with king deuce, which is an objectively better hand than queen three. Thinking of donking at me here. <clears throat> I guess it's always thinking of donking at me since that's what it does. It's a computer. It always thinks about everything. Yeah, we make a flush. Well, the 200, the min bet. It's the Schwartz min bet. Yeah, couldn't even get it to call the king deuce. We played the limit, hold, limit hold'em bot. <laughs> we thought we were playing limit hold'em. Well, we know we can't beat that one. <laughs> I don't. I have no interest in playing the limit hold'em bot. I know that I can't beat that one. Boy, it yeah. I mean, I think king nine I would call, but I'm just gonna fold king seven. I think I get bluffed a lot here. Yep. 
uh, Adam wants to know, what are you drinking? He already warned me about the good calories. There are no <laughs> calories in the Zevia. Zevia grape soda. Yeah. No calories. I, I, I don't have liquid calories in my household and we're at my place. Oh, I accidentally. See, I misclicked when I made it 3x. He's going to punish me now. But... I think I have to continue. Uh, Product shot. <laughs> yeah. I think I have to continue. Sponsored by Zevia. Oh, I wish. Send us your flats of Zevia. Oh, please. so that worked out really well. I got it to oh, King High. Nice. That's pretty sweet. You bet the you bet the pop. Yes, I did. Oh yeah, boy. I'm pretty happy about that. You're gonna get this to back to three two and I'm gonna lose all three of my matches and it's gonna win. Is that what's gonna happen? That's I'm putting maximum pressure. My I only exist <laughs> to my, do that. I, I I only I'm only playing well enough <laughs> to make you the goat. That's your primary concern. You see how I lost the first one on purpose? Because yeah, if I won them all, then yeah, I can I can put you in that spot. And I oh, have yeah. the Ace King flop. Yep, it does hand a decent percentage of the time. Hey, oh, I bluffed it. He got the best hand fold. Jax. Oh, Jax. Juan McCarran Memorial Hand. Uh, blinds are up now to 150, 300. Shout out Juan McCarran. So we're now 70 big blinds deep. I keep not connecting with high boards as the preflop regressor, but it mostly works fine because I just. I'm able to take it away a decent amount of the time. Boom. Three betting here is the right. I've got a queen blocker, so let's do that. <laughs> got a queen. That's uh, ambitious, no? I mean, look at you got the a dominating hand fold. I mean, a queen blocker is relevant. A queen. I mean, is a, a lot is a very strong card and heads up no one can hold them. I wasn't saying that facetiously. I mean like weak stronger like weak kings and weak queens are kind of the hands you tend to three bet more often because of that blocker effect and because they're just not very but because they have like not very much playability post flop. Um other than flopping top pair obviously. So like with aces it becomes trickier because then you're loading a pot with ace high. Mm -hmm. Um I definitely have a two streets of value hand there, yeah. but I don't get anything. Hi there. I have K's. You got the little pair. Yeah. Tuna would call it. Well, Tuna played in the era that it was a little pair. <laughs> so flopping top set heads up Nolan Holmes is a good thing. It is. Uh, I'm going to bet we have observed it being fairly sticky now. I, I think it is sensitive to sizing, and there's no kings left. There, yeah. Well, what do you want? You want it to call? And it, and it. I think it defends with a lot of hands that are sixes, not so many hands that are threes. Question is like ace high hands. I think I'm getting like 500 here. I think I have to go a little higher. I mean, I think I think the presence of the flush draw dictates a slightly larger than 500, but not by a lot. I wouldn't hate 500. You could probably check raises four or five par a decent portion of the time. I would agree with that, especially given my sizing. So I think I can get slightly larger. Um, the problem is, is this is going to fold a lot of his sixes, but yeah. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I just kind of have to hope, really. It picks this hand to spaz on. Well, not spaz, but I mean, he mentioned might have a king, right? Like he could have the case king. Um, yeah, I don't know what else he could have. 
Yeah, so like the case king, the case king and, and flush draws, right? So flush draws, I'm not going to get any value from. So that's done, unless it happened to be like eight, seven of hearts or something. Like nine, that. ten of hearts. You might get some I might get nine, 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 nine of hearts, but well, I mean, so um, the case nine, king is 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 some amount of his combinations. Um, like two grand. Hang on, hang on. Um, pollute your mind, sorry. So. Ace King is not a lot of distribution because he just raised. So the bigger kings aren't. So we're talking about like King Jack, King Ten, King Nine, and then King Eight. So actually, like I could play some of these two pairs this way. Um, could have six three. So if I bomb it, it'll fold like six three. I've seen a check raise in that spot with six three. I, I and that's the thing. I like. I think betting small could induce, and that's a reason to bet small. And. I can't think of a lot of reasons to bomb this river. No. I agree. So I think something like 30, maybe just 3,000 even. This is about right. Uh, I just now folded fours. Oh, yeah, fours makes sense because it picked up it picked up yeah. a draw on the turn. But I wasn't getting anything from fours. No. I wasn't. Okay, well, that was an interesting hand. I'm surprised I didn't. Uh, I've seen it three raise parade with that. I'm actually going to check raise here and see how it handles it. I have a little bit of equity because I have two overs That's to the. Kind of gross stack size for your check raise. Why? I can just fold. So, I mean, for him. Oh, oh, oh I see. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just because I've got some equity. I've got three to flush. I've got two overs to the three. Uh, Hey, it's you. It's going well. Okay, so now we're at a stack size where I think I am going to start like betting opening smaller. We are only thirty-ish big lines effective now. I really don't want to get jammed on here because I probably have to fold. Yeah, that would be weird one. I could just shove thirty big lines here, like in them, and I can just call. I think that's calling. When you're talking top air, you should just call. And jam. Well, I'm not going to jam this flop. No. Oh, interesting. That's a really bad turn card, right? It's not good. Um, that helps. Eight, seven, nine. Ooh. It does it again. And I think I have a call. I mean, there's no reason. Wow, that's really gross. So now it's back to even. Uh, there's been, I mean, that's there's there's not no, much I can do about that. That's just unlucky. I mean, I could have jammed free flop. I don't know what it done. It probably would have folded. Probably would have folded for thirty big ones. But Twenty-five big blinds. I think Ace Ten is sort of a hand that I can actually jam with here. Really? Oh, we want to play in case. Uh, it's an Ace and it's out of position, so it's not a hand that plays that well for swap. Ace Ten is an option. I mean, I feel like it plays well. Heads up. It's out of position. It's it's not bad. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. But I I tend to jam aces a lot in the late game. Uh, again, here's my queen blocker. <laughs> Why not, right? It's going to be your new nickname, queen blocker. Ooh, that is a atrociously bad flop, in which, one of which I will have to just surrender. We have a queen blocker. Somebody wrote, I don't know why, but I always thought Adam would be bald. Wow. He just, they, he strikes you as a bald Brutal. guy. Is, I mean, does the bald say something about negative about your personality? I don't think that it does. Oh, bald. Never been bald. Well, I would imagine not. Most people don't grow their hair back. No, I mean, maybe some people shave their hair. Yeah, sure. I'm more. I'm much more bald than you. You are. Very poor flop from my hand. Starting to pick up spade equity. Boom. 
How much? He's going to bet three times the pot. I'm going <laughs> to. I was I was certain he was going to bet like three x pot, and I'm going to be like, I hate life. Hmm. Is there some music AI out there? I don't know. That's the I guess. I'm sure there is. Right? There's probably computers writing music out there. Million monkeys uh, at a typewriter. Yeah, I, I've seen papers about that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you yeah I've seen poker, can poker is a challenge. Try, try and yeah, program AI poetry, poetry or, song or, or poetry or something like that. Uh, okay, so I that. yeah, I think shoving is a lot. I think. Uh, wait, what's it going to call? You're isolating yourself against. These yeah, it's it's it is, it is bad. I mean, it'll have some three bet bluffs here, right? So I'm going to call with like king queen. Well, Maybe. I mean, but but it, but we would be okay with King Queen folding too, if it, if I can make it fold King Queen, that's fine. Uh, so let's think. It, it's basically bluffs and big aces, right? Like, yeah. The the question is, if I made it, like, I can't make it just like eight thousand, and because then there's a possibility I get rebuff. Right. So I think moving in is slightly better. So I think moving in is the play. I mean, I you know, I mean, I call by bigger aces a lot, but. Okay, good. It was bluffing. Great. I, I didn't expect it to have a hand that strong to bluff, actually. That seems like a hand you want to take a bluff with. Right? Yeah, so I, you know, I'd be curious to ask the guys what Queen 8 suited's Should percentage of, of um, bluffs there. Re raising there is, because it feels like too strong of a candidate to, to bluff. Yeah, we can look that up. It's good enough bluff like that. <laughs> There's a time to get a human anthem for interspecies competition. That's a good human anthem for us. Think about that. Uh, this is like in the early raise game. Over. I would I would three bet. I, I would raise over the limp, but I don't want to get three bet. It's not kind of worth betting. Yeah. It's it's kind of on the border. Uh, now it's worth better. Now it's worth better. Okay, let's take a think about this. Do it limp check back with an ace? Probably not. It could. I mean, it given could. that it's a late game. Probably not. Given that it's a late game, it's more likely to have an eight, eight than an ace. Yeah. There are more eights in distribution than aces. There are also a lot of flush draws. Yeah. Um. So I think... It's occasionally going to turn one of those flush draws into a ball. So I think, I think... Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. So I think betting small... And allowing it, giving it an opportunity to do that is my my, my course of action. King, uh, King high with a gut shot. That's a reasonable way to play that, yeah. I think. Uh, okay, now we're now playing 300, 600 with an effective 30 big blind stack. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to limp now, and if it raises, then I jump. With Queen 10, I don't want to call a jam. Oh, well, there you go. Like so I just fold. But, I mean, that's that's a great result. Yeah, you lost the minimum. Yeah, so I, said, I probably would have raised and got re-raised and been like, I, I can, and I can't, got and a I queen can't have to call. I mean, that's a really good yeah, result for me. Play the show. Uh, this one I'm calling a jam with. How come you were calling a jam with that? I think King Jack, Jack is strong enough at uh, however many big ones we are. Thirty. Yeah. I'm calling a jam with this too, by the way. You know what? You should fold this hand just for maybe I could fry it. Guy. Maybe, <laughs> but maybe I could fry it. Like maybe in the meta game, like it will think that folding aces occasionally is would like alarm board. bells go off in the classroom. Yeah. Maybe I would. Maybe I would break it. Maybe I would break it. <laughs> Sure, something catches on fire. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have an answer for you on that. Uh, the re-raise, the S vote. Yeah, uh, it was forty-four percent to re-raise, uh, wow. fifty-five percent to call. What okay. was that again? 
44 55 so it was basically mixed so what between, hand was it uh it i i opened with ace eight and it three bet with queen eight queen suited eight. And so it's shoved. oh it's 40 percent of three bet with queen eight diamond 44 percent so yes 40 high to me yeah i agree um i think you want it's you want to play a right uh, thank you thank you nice thing is i get the limp with cheese like jack deuce because it threatens um his his punishing my lip so i can just flop the nuts i just get the flop there the nut deuce check check that call check check mm. it's got fives this time yeah it does have fives pretty frequently and i don't get value yeah, from most of most of the stuff yeah, I just wanted to think it over. I, yeah, that's sure. clearly correct. Leader. I don't want to leave. The thing is, I just get called all the time. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that to fold, so that works out. Hello. Hello, ladies. Again, pick up another jamming hand. Run good. Oh, uh, this I think I just put it in. There needs to be more drama when you guys are all in. It's just snap over the hands, just snap over. <laughs> yeah, need more drama. Uh, I wasn't Slowly sure. Play those. So I could have limped, I could have min raised, and I could have jammed this one. Yeah, he, I'm opening. Oh, you opened. Yeah, so I chose to. I chose to open there. And then this is kind of all like him. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. Oh, that's a good card. Oh, you. That's a good card. Uh, I was just small. Yeah, small I think feels good. good. Yeah, I think it might be good. Okay. Meatbag running good. You do not get to see a flop. Ooh, this has a he has aces here sometimes. I'm sure it does. Yeah. Well, he had an ace, but I think if he jammed, I would have been close to calling anyway. So um, back to even. Back to even. So we are even at twenty big blinds. A very strong hand here for the twenty big blind stack. I think I can raise over the top of of his. I can jam over the top of his raise if he chooses to raise. Take flop. Mm -hmm. It's not a good flop if a lot of money goes in. It's true. And it only lose if a lot goes in. <laughs> I'm in that uh, okay. So this is curious because the ace There's no draws it. He doesn't call with any draws that you beat. He's gonna or draw mate. What's that? All his he called he called the flop, right? Yeah. You check all the flop. So there's tens, hearts. Everything is right. Like, what's in his range that you can beat? Uh, the floats. Yeah, only right. floats. Everything else. But I think there are a lot of floats on a 10 10 4 flop. Uh, I still I still think the folding is correct, but I'm just saying it doesn't seem like a slam dunk. And against a human, I would be, I would be, I would be very, very inclined towards calling a human, but wow. not a lot. No equity. Yeah, I don't even think I really need to bluff here. No. Ooh, We're walking right into a full house. Good thing you did. Right into a full house. Okay. Am in. I in a jam stack? Am I in open jam? Well, I have twenty big blinds, uh, so I could limp jam or I could open jam, but I think I'll just open jam. There's kind of an adverse selection Maybe going on, but guys, can we see what the calling range is there, or is that something you don't want to tell us during the match? 
Yeah, we can look up uh, the sound. The uh, Ace Nine hand. Green blocker. Yeah, I mean, calling. I don't hate calling here because I the, the two high cards. You flop all of this time. Not yeah. Not this time. Ooh, that's awesome. Except that he probably does have a decent number of kings here. The question is, will he raise them? And he may not. So I think it's still worth for me betting here. Uh, betting. 2200. And I can bomb the nine, but not the ace, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay, I don't think I've been to 500,000 before. <laughs> um, so we are, this one you're going steep. I think I will play him and raise fold strategy with the send. Because it's definitely worth picking up the equity. Uh, not a bad flop. Mm -hmm. Because I think I could chance aces. Yeah, exactly. So it's your jacks. Basically. And I don't have to bet very much to sort of induce a fold, I think. It's called me. Climbed over much earlier. What? Or check. I don't give up. I'm checking everything up. I think I. Or that card might give you some fold equity with these guys. So he's going to fold the three if I bet. All the five. I don't think you'll. I'm not going to. I'm not going to blast off. I, I don't think I can get it to fold a jack unless I do blast off, and I don't think the risk reward is really worth it. Um, and but the the thing is, yeah, like okay, well, you have to bet. So what's your bet average? Is the question, right? Yeah, I think it's going to be about two thirds pot or so. Ooh, wow. it, got, it, caught a, it caught a queen on the end. It caught a 10 on the end. That sucks. Interesting call there. We should, we should be checking more turns with Big Hand. So that uh, East 9 hand he asked us to look up? That yeah. was 100% fold. It's a what? 100% uh, fold on that hand. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, no, I meant, um, oh, can you look up ranges or you're just looking up that specific hand? Can you look up your, what your. Oh, I see. Oh, no. Like what? What, what the bot would do in, yeah, what its range is, is calling range. All uh, right, so. Gotcha, okay. What it would have called with at that stack size. Yeah, what's the minimum it hand it would call it's with? like 13 big blind or something. Uh, okay, so it's starting to jam against us, and we're going to jam back and forth against him. We're going to play this 11 BB stack poker. Ah. Oh, it took it down, so. That's the end of it. The meat bags are done. Yeah. Uh, it was a lot of fun, though. And uh, yeah. this was great. It was instructive. Um, thanks for including us. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for being on to play against it. That oh. was good having you. Can we? Uh, can I continue to play on my, uh, on my practice account? Uh, yeah. For a couple more days, we can do that. Awesome. And then we'll have to, yeah, we'll have to free, it up, free up the computer to play against someone else. Sure, sure. Uh, but yeah, I can get you guys hand histories after this too. Okay, awesome. that'd be great. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. It's been fun. Uh, sorry out there to all the humans who were <laughs> we let it for us. Uh, can do it. Maybe maybe somebody's good at this thing. We'll, we'll figure this out. All right. Uh, okay. Later. Thanks. All right. Thanks again. Bye. And uh, yeah, we'll be on again next week uh, for match three. So have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Bye.